What's up guys, Souls Gaming here and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Um, I saw a couple YouTubers play this, but I don't know if I downloaded the right game, if I'm going to be honest, because I didn't see this part. So, uh, let's get into it, I guess. Oh, oh, um, hey, turn up a little bit. Hey. I like this music. Alright, design pizza. Uh, I guess we can... Yeah, put some pepperoni. Yo, what y'all like in y'all pizzas, man? I, yo, me personally like pepperoni and sauce. I don't want no onions, mushroom. I don't know how people eat that. I mean, that, them peppers make the pizza too hot. But man's not hot. Anyway. Alright, alright. That's our pizza right there. Yeah. Okay, uh, go to pizzeria. Uh, I'm not sure if I downloaded the right game. I don't, is this a bootleg thing? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, sticky keys. Uh, uh, no, no, sticky keys, why? Yo, why are these kids eating like whole pizzas? I mean, I know I can, but these kids looking a little too small for a whole pizza. I'm, I'm just saying. Yo, this, la this last kid's a little too hungry for the pizza, bro. All right, there you go. Uh, uh, yo, you're blocking my pathway, bro. Move. I'm trying to win. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. Move. Yeah. All right, there we go. Bro, move out my way. What the heck? Yo, where's my pizza at? Ah, right, there it is. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Yo, alright, I gotta break his ankles. Come on. Come. Move out my way. Could you move, please? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I downloaded the right game, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Yo, could you not block my pizza? Bro, move out the way! Uh, you black copy of me, move! Uh, you're just making me waste pizzas, bro. You know how many people can eat pizza right now, man? People starving in Africa, you know? Jesus. Oh my god, this bear is so annoying. <sighs> We're gonna be stuck on this level for like, I don't know how long. Um, all right, yeah, follow me, follow the move. Mm. Could you move out of my way, sir? Oh my god, this guy is making me waste my time, man! Alright, come on. Yes! No, stop blocking my pizza! They're nice and fresh, even though they're pixelated. Okay, come on. Oh my god. I'm still mad because I don't have the sausage on my pizza, you know, that I ordered on my pizza, you know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Could you move out of my way, please? All right, last kid. Yeah, move him out of the way. Stay right there. Oh my God! Move, you stupid bear! <sighs> Can you move out of the way? Move out the way, please. Thank you. Please. I do not have time for your games, little black bear. Move the child in the middle is the hardest one to get. <laughs> get him. Could you like not block the pizza, bro? Oh my god. Stop following me. Oh my I'm gonna choke a bear. I'm gonna choke a bear today if he doesn't move. I don't know why, but if this even if this is the wrong game, I still have fun. Can somebody move this stinking <sighs> kid? Kid, I'm can can the kid come closer? Cause I'm gonna be stuck on this one single part for like the how long has it been? Ten minutes? Seven minutes? Sometimes the minute. Can I pass over this? I cannot. I can't. 
I just want to proceed with the game. I've been here for longer than I should have, man. Some people probably already beat this in like two minutes. I'm stuck here at eight minutes. Help me! Help me! Please! <laughs> Test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are no! playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. What? Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. No! What the? I'm about to punch my computer, bro. Document results. I'm not looking Begin down. Begin audio prompt in three, no. two, one. What in the heck is going on? I'm not going near that thing! No, Document my computer results. can stay right there! I'm not getting any closer to that thing! Begin no! audio prompt in three, two, My one. heart is racing! What are these sounds? What is this? No. Shut up, sound! I'm ready for a jump scare. I'm Document ready. results. Come on. Begin audio prompt in three. Two. No! One. What? It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to what? take your career into your own hands. What? You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. <laughs> a gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Okay. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive what? everything you need what? to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, okay. buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Okay. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help yeah, you get ahead, started ahead, as a Fazbear ahead. Entertainment franchisee, yeah, such as Atmosphere. Yeah. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Yeah. Bonus Revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket ready yeah, for reinvestment. Yeah. Yeah. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are Not steps long. you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. 
And that brings us to liability. Okay. Being a thrifty shopper is smart. You might be die. Aware that what? Things on sale comes with a certain amount you of risk. You might die. So it as Aside is. from the daily what? risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that. What do you mean something might be hiding tag. inside? Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. No, the heck I'm not! Wear that smile no, the heck I'm not! I've been seeing what I saw earlier. No, I'm not! Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Wait, wait, wait! Okay, we're done. We're good. I'm ready. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Oh, alright, so we're about to shop right now. Um, that's cool. Uh, balloon barrel, discount ball, liability risk. Or, uh, I don't want no liability, so... Paper cups and plates. Colorful ones, but they're more expensive, though. Um, single stage. Double stage, I don't need a double stage. Sanitation station. I mean, if we buy a sanitation station, then what's the point? Because we, we don't have any customers, so... We do need a fan, though. We need a fan. Um, the heck is that thing? Okay, uh, might as well buy a duck farm, too. You know? and what are they gonna eat off of, you know? Since we like, a, like, aren't we like a pizzeria? So, yeah, let's get some paper ducks and plates, and, uh, let's get some balloons for the kids. Can I not buy it? Oh, it's thirty dollars. Not okay. Well, I'm I'm not good at math, am I? And buy a stage for what? You know, I don't, I mean I don't have a stage. Hey, hey, got our paper cups here. You need paper clip, yeah, yeah. Right, let's go here. Fazbear rating seventy-five. Play test. Play test. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Oh yeah, 100, let's go! I'm already beating this game. 100 again? I'm, I'm the master, I'm the beast. 500? I'm the king. 700? You can't beat that. It's unbeatable. You can't win. Do I exit? Hey, look at that! Oh yeah! Alright, what's up now? What do we do next? Can we keep it nice and kid-friendly, you know? Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. Okay. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a uh, lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your what terminal, you, mean? you have supplies to buy, papers oh, to print, and my God, to no! Wrong. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. Uh, We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yeah, my yourself. Fist. You my can fist. shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing I'm not to yourself. Games. 
Also, I'm not. shining I'm not your light games. directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. Hurry up and order! You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. I don't care! There's a motion detector, an audio Hurry decoy, up. and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Hurry up! Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. How do I log off? Go play games with me, bro! Advertising! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! I am not playing games with you! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh my god, I think it's loud as hell! Hurry up! I am not playing games right now, bro. Oh my god, I messed up again. I'm not looking at anything else. I'm gonna get my task done and I'm bouncing. No, no, I'm no, no. And the gameplay after this, man. After that first thing, no. Hurry up. I'm staying back. I'm staying back. No, no. I'm not going any closer to the computer. What did you make me play? People on Discord saying, "Hey, how about you play this pizza simulator thing?" I didn't think it was the right one, but it is. <laughs> oh my god. You know how I feel about horror games, man. Oh my god, I'm scaring myself. Get on the computer. Get on the computer. What are you doing? Hurry up. I want to leave. Hurry up. Hurry up. Lava. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Thank now God. let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Yeah. Huh, that was stressful. That's it, right? I don't like this. No, 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 no. Congratulations on completing your I hate you, guy! Day. Whoever's on However, there! However, your job isn't over just yet. What do you mean I'm not done? There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine. Oh my god, what is that, that thing? That is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. What? Things are found here quite often. And what? And we aren't sure why. But we do know what do you mean you don't know why? They can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. What? Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside. But then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death. Should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared? If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Um, I'm forfeiting the payment. Screw that. I don't care if it's $500. Don't forget Saturday. Screw that. You want them all to be in one place. That's good enough money for me, man. No lawsuits, too. Screw that! I'm not bringing 
nothing in my restaurant. You got me messed up. Oh my god, my heart. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, Freddy Fazbear Simulator. Uh, I swear, if you guys like this, oh man, I don't know if I can do it again. My heart was absolutely racing during the whole thing, especially the beginning part. At first, I'm thinking it's not even the right game, but then it is the right game, and then I'm done. No, you know that that balloon chick, I think, or something. That chick's gonna pop up from that door or something like that. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Jesus Christ! How how do people play this? Ah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Oh my God! Later.